working on this project and we wanted to get some geometric patterns so I used some of my cool moves to get some really straight lines and now that I have this I've got the black and the purple and the lavender and the mulberry we're gonna add some gold leaf yes gold leaf I think this is really gonna take it to the next level and I want to show you how I'm gonna do it so first thing take your design and add your tape where you want your cutouts to be I think that'll be kind of fun so the gold will kind of come up go down and go back up again just a little bit I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time and then stand back because I may decide mm, too much or too little right and then I'm gonna let this curve around the sides so it's gonna go like that and then resolve itself here I always really like that when it can kind of resolve itself and then I'm gonna leave everything else alone. Now that we have that down, we need to seal our joints, basically. So we get nice crisp lines. And I'm gonna use the same trick that I use when I'm doing these paint lines. The same trick that I got these paint lines really, really crisp, I'm gonna to use to get the gold leaf really, really crisp. And that is Mod Podge. Yep, I'm gonna go in here, and where I've put this tape down, I'm gonna make sure that the tape is really sealed tight. We all know what happens, right? You put it on, you seal it tight, you're like, I done it this time. No bleed through. This is gonna rock. And then you start peeling and you're like, mm, it's all jaggedy, what's happening? All right, the Mod Podge seals your edges here. It creates a barrier. We're gonna let that dry, then we're gonna put on our size. It's what you put to get your metallic leaf to stick. Um, so anyway, enough talking, let me show you. So now we take just a smooth little brush, nothing too big or fancy. And what I want to do is take my Mod Podge, just go right around the edge. Okay. Push down as you go. Don't go this way. Kind of push this way. I'm going to go here. And then kind of brush it out as you go. Make it smooth. You don't want to create any texture or dimension with your Mod Podge. You just want to get in the nooks and crannies of your tape. I'll let this dry really well because normally what I do is I paint over the Mod Podge but today I'm actually putting size over the Mod Podge which is actually another kind of adhesive so I want to make sure this gets nice and rock solid before I put another kind of adhesive on top of it okay it's gonna work it's gonna be awesome um, all right I'm gonna keep going let this and then I'll be right back at you now that we've put Mod Podge on all of our sections where the tape meets the paint we've got those sealed in we're gonna take our size, all right? So size, you can get all different kinds. It's just gilding size, basically. It's an adhesive. And you can use it for foil, you can use it for leaf. All right, and we're gonna put that right on top of the Mod Podge. Full disclosure, never tried this before. If it doesn't work, you won't be seeing this video. Kind of like they say, you know, on a, uh, uh, you know, if you're seeing this video, I'm already dead. <laughs> if you're seeing this video, it worked. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're going to put that on here. Make sure we fill in everything, not leave any bald spots. No bald spots. And we're going to let this dry until just a little bit tacky, a little bit sticky, okay? You don't want it wet because the gold leaf will not stick to wet. You also don't wanna go on vacation and come back because it'll just dry. Uh, and then you can start over again, but there's kind of a window and read, just read the directions on your size. This has what it says is a window of 24 hours, but I have found that within the hour is the best time to get the best stick, all right? Um, when I've used foil um, by Artistic Painting Studios, again, that gets the best stick if I wait at least five or six hours. I don't know, I honestly, you just have to test it. You just have to test it, okay? So I've got this on. Make sure you don't have any drippies.
All right, so let's choose your leaf, okay? Your metallic leaf. I learned something new by accident. What a surprise. I bought this set of gold leaf sheets and what's beautiful about them is that they're not loose leaf. Look at that. They're stuck onto this paper. There's a technical term for it. I don't remember what it is. But my technical term for it is, hells yeah, because it's making it so much easier because it's not flying away everywhere, all right? So it's basically stuck to the backing so that we can stick it right here. So how do we know if this is ready? Do this test, knuckle test. Yeah, you probably can't hear it, but it's sticky just a little bit, but it's not like gooey, all right? So what I'm gonna do, just get very excited. Okay, I'm gonna put this, I only have it here. So it should only stick here, not anywhere else. I'm gonna put it here. And just use your finger. I think your finger works just fine. You can use a brush, look at that, it's just stuck on up there. You can use a brush. This does require a little bit of pressure, okay? When you're doing it loosely, if you just kinda let it float. Just let it float, but this requires a little bit of pressure. Oops, that might be too much pressure. All right, there we go. Ta-da, perfect amount of pressure. <laughs> All right, so I can see here, I'm, I've got some purple showing through, so I'm just gonna go in there, kind of rub it on. And that might mean that I missed a spot. Maybe not, All right? There we go. Don't worry about it getting onto your tape, that's why your tape is there, to act as a barrier. I'm gonna try to push that right in. So I can see that's not grabbing right there. So I'm gonna have to go back and add a little bit more size, which I can do. But I'm gonna keep going, for the sake of television. And push that on. And get into all those little nooks and crannies. There's just such little waste when you use gold leaf this way, or silver leaf. There we go. Look at that. Big old chunk. Because if I were doing it the other way, these pieces would all have floated off by now. Trust me. But it's more expensive. And I was doing a giant piece. In retrospect, I might have been better off paying the extra, but it's like triple the price to get it this way. Okay. Let's do that. There we go. We're getting nice big swaths of gold here. I'm digging this. If you've got a little part here that's not covered, push that in and cover it up. And so now you can kind of get all your little pieces off of your paper here. Because your goal is just to have this empty when you're done. No waste. Kind of just using my finger now just to get all the little places covered. Pretty good. I'm getting a little lean and I've got a pretty big place here. So I am gonna grab another piece. A fresh piece of gold leaf is so fun. It's just like untainted. All right, so I'm gonna go right here. And just push that in. Beautiful. Okay, now I do have some flakiness here. So what you can do, press it in, but this is what you can do next. You can kind of just rub it around and get, kind of push everything down, get it into place. So the next step with the leaf is just to kind of rub it with cheesecloth. I don't know why, but it works this yummy magic where it kind of makes all your joints fit together and it really smooths it out, makes it shiny. I wanna wake up with you by my side Without you there is no tomorrow We could be in for the best ride Want this to last for the rest of our lives Without you there is no tomorrow Without you there is no tomorrow 
good. Now what we can do is pull. Oh yeah. That's fantastic. See that nice crisp line we've got now? Yes. Let's do that again. It's another train. Cannot get peace and quiet here to save my life. That's okay. There we go. Perfect. Perfect line. Perfect gold. Nothing missing. Now, you might be wondering why I pulled it off now. Because I am going to put it right back on again in order to put the sealant. Because the gold is going to have a different sealant than this. Okay? Because there's a special sealant for the gold foil. Actually, I should save these for a project. They're kind of fun. <laughs> now that we have this beautiful luster, we don't want to lose it, so we need a special top coat just for foils. This is the one I'm using by Ducks Paints. It's awesome, it's the best that I've tried, and it really keeps it shiny. So I'm taping the edges back and putting it on and letting it dry, and then we'll put a coat over the entire piece, but this gold will stay shiny. Now that your metallic is sealed in tight and all your lines are crisp, we need to put a top coat over the whole piece. Today I'm going to use Big Top by Debbie's Design Diary. I just love how this goes on, I love how easy it is to clean, and I love that you can work it until you get out the brush strokes and the drip marks without it getting, well, gunky. What's great about Big Top is how well it works with really dark colors. It just makes them pop. 